right, welcome back. All right, we're going to get into it in terms of figuring out who was right with their predictions throughout the Game Awards. So we left off um, with the best multiplayer game. Now we're going into best sports and racing game. Now, this one was a no-brainer. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. And yeah. you three boys got this right. I got it wrong. Come on. Come I knew, on. I Come on. I did say, I know Tony Hawk's going to take it, but I feel like 2K, I, I got to give them some love. So that explains my choice there. So don't don't be hard on me, okay? All right, All right fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> you like Death Stranding and you voted for NBA 2K21. <laughs> now we have uh, Best Family Game. This one, we all got it right. Animal Crossing, again, yep. another no-brainer. It was it. easy. I feel like a lot of these awards were kind of like, yes, this is exactly what I yeah. thought. Right. Um, best fighting game, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. We all went that way as well for that mm -hmm. one. I know Caboose yep. are very happy about that. Of course. Best <laughs> RPG, Final Fantasy 7. And it was the remake that took it uh, for that one. Fun to see. Give remake. me some, Steve. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> you guys got this right. I honestly thought Persona Five had a chance here. Me too. Come on, guys. Yeah. Get on our level. Whoa! It's the Final Just Fantasy. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta go for points. We as soon as as like soon as Death Sephiroth Randy. was announced for uh, Smash, I knew I knew we had it in the bag, oh, Steve. That yeah. was it. No, really <laughs> quick. Really quick, was anyone like, "Oh my God, did Sephiroth just killed Mario?" Uh, yes. Yeah, I was, was like, terrifying. I was there lost. <laughs> Especially because of everything that's happening with Smash right now. Yeah, like I was like, as soon as it happened, I'm like, the internet is gonna have a field yeah. day with all of this, and I can't believe Nintendo. Like, I feel like this was overlooked by Nintendo as well. Like, mm -hmm. someone at Nintendo's like. We're going to have, uh, you know, the icon Mario die by I mean, Sephiroth. To be fair, Ridley did also, quote unquote, kill Mario in, a, in one of the reveal trailers as well. Yeah. Like a lot of mm. Nintendo characters have kind of died in the past. Luigi, yeah. especially. Mm -hmm. That's true. Oh, I just feel Luigi. like you have a warehouse where they just bring out another version. Another of one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, all right, we got to keep going. Another Mario. Let's go. Um, with that, we'll keep going to best action adventure game. Now, we all got this wrong, okay? Yeah, so this is I went with Assassin's Creed. Uh, Malik and Steve went with Ghost of Tsushima. And, yep. of course, Caboose went with Miles Morales. But The yep. Last of Us Part Two took it home. Were you guys shocked by this? Yeah. Obviously. This, uh, was, this was the point when I, was, when I saw this happen in the pre-show where I was like, oh, this game is probably going to sweep, huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. I really I, did not expect Last of Us to win this award. I just, I think, man, this one's a hard, it's, it's hard to talk about because we still have, you know, yeah, the game of the year to go, but that. we'll go through, we'll talk about we'll, it later. We'll do our mm -hmm. final thoughts of the awards after. Sure. Uh, best mm. action game. Now, Steve and Malik, you guys got this one in the bag. Hades. Hades. I was really surprised right. that they would even give Hades the recognition, just knowing the Game Awards track record. Um, right. They usually are going with the more popular uh, titles, and mm. I... Caboose and I went with Doom Eternal, but we didn't win. Uh, innovation in accessibility. This was their new award. A yep. really great category that just recognizes games that make gaming more accessible to all audiences. And The Last of Us Part Two took this. Caboose and I, we also took this uh, in yep. our little uh, bet here. And you know what, though? Like, I feel like all of these games, like... Congrats to the mini applause uh, for being recognized on what you've done uh, for gamers of, you know, all different um, levels of gaming and what they're capable of, how they need to play. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. congratulations for I that. Wanna... Yeah, I was going to oh, say, okay. I'm oh, pretty sure I won the last one. Well, yeah. Her producer oh. like, got this, but I, I, it's just wrong on the listing here. All right, yeah. so congrats on this one as well. To you as well. <laughs> Alink, I'm sorry, you were wrong. Um, yeah. Sorry, it happens. <laughs> it, it happens. It happens. Okay. We have best VR AR game, Half Life Alex. This was a no brainer at oh, all. Wow. We all got this right. Yeah. Um, best community support. Now, Steve, you're the only one that guessed Fall, Al Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout correctly. Come on. And that, that was a good read because I didn't realize how 
how um, transparent they've actually been with their yeah. community. And I remember you did talk about that last week. Yeah, it was right when the game launched, they were right there in the trenches, keep, keeping everyone updated with, you know, server issues and stuff like that. I think that went a long way uh, for players and, uh, you know, critics, obviously. Another one you got right was best mobile game, uh, which is Among Us. Which you know, I don't it know makes why sense. I didn't pick them up. I, I should have picked them up. It was the safe one. We why was the safe Genshin. one? I think because I, we were, I think okay, I think I messed you guys up on this one. I said Genshin, and I I made a really good, compelling argument about like the graphics, how it's <sighs> evolved outside of mobile, how it's like this huge wave that's sweeping uh, 2020. And I'm sorry. Of course, there was, was one of those Death Stranding who would convince me that Genshin deserves. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was one of those NA things too, right? Where Among Us had a had a much bigger impact in the North sure. America gaming scene, and versus Genshin Impact, which was more of a global phenomenon. Sure, um, that's fair. So uh, you know, there's that you have to take into account. But Among Us deserves it. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for that team, even though it is an old game. Also, really, <laughs> I like, like how Malik's the, like, yeah, it's good. He's so but hung not, up on that. So, like, <laughs> yeah. it's not Genshin Impact, just say. The, the devs behind Among Us, the most wholesome acceptance speeches right? out yes. of the entire Game Awards. Yeah. Like the fact that they even had like the the fourth developer on FaceTime to be there yeah. for it. Yeah. I love that. I I like. I'm so happy for them. They're straight up just living the dream in terms of like game development. Made this game two years ago, struggled with it, but stuck with it, kept it alive. And then two years later, it pays off in tenfold. You know, I'm, I'm so happy for them. Mm -hmm. um, best debut game, Phasmophobia. Again, another yep, score yep. Um And a great acceptance speech as well. Mm -hmm. um, best indie game, Hades. Uh, Steve and Caboose got this right. That's an easy one, too. Yeah, yeah it was simple. Oh, yeah. I, I knew it was going to win. But... You guys are noobs not knowing what's up. Yeah, Thanks. come on. <laughs> Thanks, <guys. laughs> the best ongoing game, No Man's Sky. Yeah, what a surprise. Like Sean Murray's <laughs> cheeky little smile. His happiness yeah. is just amazing. This man <laughs> deserves it. Go them going from receiving death threats over how bad the game was yeah. and having their office and their servers flood to where the game is now. It's just night and day, and it, and it's really a success a success story. They they started making a dirt bike mobile game. It was like <laughs> uh, it was like a Daredevil Steve game or something. It's a making No Man's Sky just absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, to see him there on the screen, you know, smiling, happy to to see the progression and how far he's come since what was it, 2016 when the game first came out. Like, I was happy for him. Not happy that I didn't win the point, but I was happy for him. <laughs> <laughs> what you did win the point on was a games for impact. Tell me why. Yep. Steve, you voted for this. Caboose and I voted. Yep. We got it right. Sorry, Malik, you were wrong. It's all right. I, you know what? It was a personal thing where I voted for Spirit Fair, and I stand by it. Fair. <laughs> fair. I respect that. Spirit Fair. Spare. Ah, I like God. that. Jeez, Kaboos, just stop. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> stop, please, just stop. Um, now this one, we we were actually, I think for Caboose was really split on the next one. Best yeah. performance. Um, they had. So many great um, actors yeah. mm -hmm. nominated for this one. I think this was a really tough one, especially given that there were two nominations for The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. I know Caboose, you went for Ashley Johnson, uh, but the winner was actually Laura Bailey uh, from The Last of Us Part Two. That's Abby. Mm -hmm. And um, the three of us got it right. Obviously, we weren't shocked. Caboose, how did you feel, though? Well, I wasn't shocked either. I remember saying that it's it's between them, like between Ashley Johnson and Laura Bailey, to be honest. Uh, I, I still think that Ashley Johnson is the one who gave the better performance. Um, but I do think that Laura Bailey's performance as Abby is good um, mm -hmm. and worthy of an award. And as a matter of fact, her winning, um, I got to say, like, I don't know if you guys have ever tasted tears, but like. It's uh it's an interesting it's an acquired taste, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, it goes down smoothly. Yeah, yeah, but there was quite a bit of them too. Like yeah. I was just yeah. raining down shots of oh. tears through the oh, whole. I thought, I thought that was <laughs> you were talking about her like pretty much crying no no no, <laughs> no that was all that's you messed crying. up 
That's weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was no. like, that's why I was like, where are you going with No, the, all the all the losers on the internet yeah, who were the... upset that someone who they yeah. didn't or who they yeah. wanted to win didn't win an award that didn't yeah. matter to them specifically. Um but you know, like it it just shows, um, you know, and I don't know if this is where you were going with this, but it just shows how impactful Abby's mm -hmm. character was, and especially Laura Bailey's performance of mm -hmm. Abby um, coming in. And I said this last week, but I'm going to say it again, coming into a franchise that is um, won its fans over because of its two main characters, you know, Joel and yeah. Ellie, and then coming in as this third protagonist who yeah. has to kind of steal the show but also play the villain it's such a hard thing to do and um especially when you know these performers are shooting at different parts of the story at different times so they may be shooting the end at the beginning like so it, it's just so yeah. complex of a character um yeah. to shoot it in that capacity honestly all my props go to laura i'm so happy that she won her acceptance yeah. speech was so heartfelt so it was so touching yeah. and that just shows even how the cast of the last of us part two are pretty much like a family at this point yeah i yeah. even loved seeing ashley johnson when she heard that laura bailey won she was like she yes. like pointed and was super yeah. excited and supportive like that stuff is awesome to me i really appreciate that and it, and it gives you the idea that they really were like this this big family when they worked on yes. the game all right Absolutely. we're we're going to move on to best audio design uh, the last of us part two took this caboose you took that point yep. The best score slash music, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Steve, you were the only one that chose that. Um, Damn. We all thought it would be The Last of Us Part Two, especially yeah. you had Eddie Vedder performing. Like, what? That was, that was yeah. crazy that The Last of Us didn't win this. I thought that The Last of Us had this locked. Me too. That, that was one where I was like, I could, I could see myself being wrong 100% on this one and going mm. to The Last of Us. But I, I went with Final Fantasy and it seemed to work out for me. Mm. Yeah, and we all won with best art direction because Ghost of Tsushima won. Um, and you know we knew what was up there. Well best, deserved. Yeah. Well Come deserved. On. Very well deserved. <laughs> uh, best narrative was The Last of Us Part Two. Steve and myself uh, chose this one, but I feel like also Caboose and Malik, you guys were also in between Ghost and The Last of Us. Yeah, yeah. For a lot of the like the big ones, yeah. I was I was like it's it's it Ghost in my heart, but. It's probably going to be Last of Us. And then especially, like I said, after I saw The Last of Us 1 action adventure, that's where I was like, oh. Yeah, they're sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. They're sleeping. So they're I, I think I see where this is going. Yeah, and there yeah. was a tipping yeah. point where it could have been like a 50-50 thing. And then it, there was a, like a, a steep incline where it was like, okay, Last yes. of Us is clearly onto something here. Yeah. And yeah. It, can, yeah. right. it skewed in one direction. Yeah, and it continued yeah. with the best game direction. Uh, the Last of Us Part Two won that one. Caboose, Steve, you guys chose that one. I really don't know why I didn't choose The Last of Us Part Two. For me, talking <laughs> up how the, the team went in this direction right. that was kind of against the grain. I don't know why I chose Final Fantasy VII Remake. And now I am hating myself for it, but it's okay. <laughs> now I... they, Yeah, go ahead, Malik. I was just going to say, I think that Last of Us Part Two does deserve a lot of the awards uh, that it that it received. But they, I would like to see some more of these other games like Final Fantasy VII, Hades, Ghost yeah. of Tsushima, get yeah. more recognition because we need more games like that in the industry too. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we'll yeah. talk more about that after Game of the Year. Um, now, they always say the Game of the Year is the winner of Best Action Game. And it, it was The Last of Us this year again. So yeah. that trend is continuing. And none of us chose The Last of Us Part Two as our game of the year. So we all lost in this category. Yeah, we all, the three of us thought, um, so that would be Malik, myself, and Caboose thought that it would be Ghosts, whereas Steve thought it'd be Hades. Mm -hmm. This was one thing I was actually disappointed with. Really? Not because of yeah. my like ego of like wanting to <laughs> brag about being right, but also because I feel like although Last of Us was a really great game, um, mm -hmm. and you know a great sequel, it's the same thing we've seen before, um, mm -hmm. and that's why I was a bit disappointed that it won this category. Hmm. I think I disagree with you there, though. Ooh, yeah. What? I mean, I feel like The Last of Us Part Two, especially considering the backlash that it received from a lot of people, uh, is largely in part due to how different 
it was and how like how but that's not a story. safe it was. The story wasn't safe. That's why I, you know, narrative, I completely sure. understand why I it would be narrative. Gameplay, it's different, but though. I feel like gameplay, it's very similar to a lot of other action adventures you have, you know, those quick time action buttons. Mm. Whereas when you look at something like Ghost, and I think that's why a lot of us gravitated to Ghost, you have no way of knowing where to go unless you follow the wind, right? Like, right, it's, yeah. it's just... I in terms of creativeness and um, everything it offers as an overall game, like how it comes together yeah. is more different than the last of us. Yeah. And hey, I think, I think to a certain extent, I agree with you, Camille, that if you take a look at any singular aspect of the last of us, it might not be the most um, risky game or the most innovative game. But when you look at the full package and that's kind of what this, this category is, it's the game of the year, a full package. Right. That's when you start looking and it Donny Dog's unparalleled when they deliver a full package game. You know you're getting something like top tier when you get something from you're Naughty getting Dog. your sixty dollars worth. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, they're not, and they're I not think letting that's you what they're for... recognizing here. No, yeah. And, yeah. And I, I, agree. I get that, but I just feel like we need to kind of what Malik was saying, recognize other games that yes, sure. do deliver the full package, but not the full, you know, over the shoulder action adventure, like not the Full, same old, same old. Right. Um, it could do things new to the story, yes. But I, I just want to see more creative games go into this category and get that recognition. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I agree. That's where most of my disappointment came from. Like I said, my pick is Ghost of Tsushima. So, like, I wanted Ghost of Tsushima to win, but I was pretty much at the point where I was like, there's just, there's no way that Last of Us is not going to take this. Um, and I mean, yeah, like you look at the performances, you look at, and I honestly, in my opinion, you look at the gameplay, you look at the narrative, even though some people may disagree with it, clearly a lot of the people who reviewed the game and even uh, I'd say a majority of people out there who just don't tweet a lot online did enjoy the narrative and the story that was presented in the last of us part two. I think the way that I look at ghost Tsushima is that the gameplay, the score, the environments, you know, the, the. The, what what is it the the art design mm -hmm. all that stuff it, when it comes to the gameplay it makes me appreciate the story more mm -hmm. whereas with the last of us the story is what helps me appreciate the gameplay a little more because the story yeah. is so engaging that like i want to keep playing and when i keep playing i start to pick up on some of the nuances and the subtlety in the gameplay like like I said, the, the reason I picked that game for best sound design was the workbenches. I loved going oh, yeah. to the crafting mm -hmm. benches and like yeah. the way you unload the gun and pick it apart and put it back together. All that stuff is super satisfying to me. And it takes up such a small, tiny little portion of the gameplay, but it, it adds up. You know, it's not, yeah. those light, little things, they start to add up. And I feel like there are, there's enough of those little subtle new features in The Last of Us Part Two that help the gameplay feel new and feel unique. And as well, just feel fluid and, and worth wanting to come back to the game for. Um, yeah. So so I understand why The Last of Us won, but obviously I would I would have picked Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. I did I think I Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, go ahead, Malik. I, you, you made a point, which is why I personally think that uh, Ghost of Tsushima should have won. And this is something that I spent a lot of time thinking about after the Game Awards, too, is that Ghost of Tsushima... Uh, against all odds was a game that rooted itself in staying true to the Japanese culture yeah. and mm -hmm. staying yeah. true to what the the because the the art direction and the story and how they developed the game all aligned under this same principle of defiance. The story mm. of the game is all about defying, you know, what is tradition and what is culture yeah. in order to become something new and, and better. And this game did that exactly in its game design and its audio design in, in how you play and how you move throughout this world. They they are a Western audience, but they said, you know what, we're not going to take any of the traditional, you know, Western game development. We're going to make it completely new. There's no there's no HUD. There's no map. You got to you know, really figure it out and, and carve your own path and in a way it made me explore more than i ever have before in games because in assassin's creed and like games like far cry and, and yeah, skyrim sure. i'm i'm searching to achieve something i'm not exploring because i want to right yeah. I, I gotta go there because i gotta get this quest so i can get a platinum trophy mm -hmm. ghost of tsushima is one of those games that made you explore because it's a living breathing yep. world and because 
it, I just don't think that there really is a game that isn't something uh, like Ark or, you know, like a, or Minecraft that really forces you to explore in, in, in a way that opens up your eyes. And then even more so, exploring and going against the odds and trying these different combat methods uh, yeah. shapes the way that the people of the world see you. And the fact that people see you differently because you are doing something differently and the fact that it is such a different game that that really steps outside of the norms yeah. is what made me kind of disappointed that it didn't yeah. get game of the year but you know i i haven't played last of us 2 yet i'm still waiting to play it on yeah. ps5 and i'm mm -hmm. sure that a lot of these points that you guys have made will make more sense once i get into that yeah. world i will yeah. say though i feel like ghost was completely snubbed in the game awards they didn't win anything. Yeah, there and was a lot of awards I feel like they should have won. That was that was just really surprising for me. I feel like the Game Awards, although Jeff is doing an amazing job um, in terms of trying to balance the industry awards to it being like this entertainment show, I feel like there's still some awards in there that lead to more of the popular um, vote. Right where yeah. it should lead to like being critically acclaimed within the industry and you know mm -hmm. through other even like having the even other studios be able to vote in categories where their games aren't nominated i think that's something yeah. where maybe should be implemented just because the last like an industry of choice sweep um you know the game awards and i feel like there were some categories there where they they shouldn't have won those categories it yeah, I, it is like it, it's interesting. I don't know. I, again, I agree that The Last of Us, or sorry, Ghost of Tsushima should have won some more awards. There were a couple of different categories where I think it deserved it over something like The Last of Us Part Two. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think largely what that game didn't get praised for enough was something that I feel like everyone kind of overlooked about it, and that's in its story and in its performances. People keep talking about oh, the main character is a little too stoic, you know, it's, right. a, it's a little too boring, you know, like there, there isn't enough like character. Everyone seems one dimensional. And I'm like, ah, damn. I just, I wish but people like how, uh, stuck yeah. with it. Exactly. I wish people but stuck with it and, and looked into the culture as well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That, that is the point. They're not, they're not, it wasn't one dimensional or it wasn't stoic was uh, by accident. That mm -hmm. was purposeful. That was intentional. That was the way that it's supposed to be presented because it's supposed to be culturally accurate. Exactly. Um, and, I, and I feel like they nailed that, but unfortunately, um, uh, and, and I don't want to like blame anyone. I don't want to be like, I don't want to talk about like game journalists being wrong or anything. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, yeah. but I feel like it was just something that was overlooked. It was something that I feel like there wasn't enough research done into from a lot of the people that reviewed the game. And so it was just a misunderstood aspect about the game where people thought, that 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 was a negative whereas that was supposed to be purposeful and maybe in that yeah. some people were like yeah. in it's supposed to be purposeful it still doesn't work for me i get that um but i don't know i that's just yeah. how i feel about it i yeah. think also too it is i if you and also if you take a step back and look at it from a business aspect right mm -hmm. it's a it's a lot easier to make an impact with an audience and sales if you're getting Eddie Vedder to you know to play music for, yeah, from The Last of sure. Us. You get Troy Baker, who looks like he's 22 years old still, um, to come out and present awards. And with the state of where the world is at, I think that Last of Us might have made a little bit of a of a wider range uh, impact on people. Right. Whereas Ghost of yeah. Tsushima really was uh, uh, an opening moment. Uh, it, it hasn't. It didn't make the impact that I think uh, they thought it would. But it's mm. one of those opening moments to show to showcase cultures for what they truly are, not yeah. what we as American as you know as Western audience wants it to be. It doesn't yeah. need to be this big action pack samurai whatever. Right. It was a very humbling and, and subtle oh, uh, yes. experience. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I appreciate more in games, too. And I have started to appreciate more. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's why, you know, it won uh, Best Art Direction. I just wish it won one of the big two. But, um, yeah. okay, who did win in terms of our predictions versus the results of oh, the boy. Game Awards was... Here we go. Can you guys hear that drum roll? I, I can. Know, I was okay, good. 
Steve with 21. Oh, got it. Wow. Result predicted. Now, uh, myself and Malik, we tied at 14. Kabusu came into a close second at ah. 7. <laughs> 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 That's what you get for liking Death Stranding. Hey! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel good. Um, so, so Steve, your, your tin hat or whatever fake yep. boards to you. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll yeah. keep an eye on the mail. Okay, yeah. <laughs> if you have to buy the mail, um, you know, it's cold outside. But, you know, yeah, sure. Keep an eye out. It, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's going to get there eventually. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> 